All right, I'm about to get started on this removal. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, I'm about to open up this cable box. I'm probably gonna have to knock these bees off into my hive once I lift this up. Oh good, it looks like it's un coming up clean. In other words, the comb is not all intertwined into the cable. Actually right now what I'm gonna do is just lean it here gently. Well, here we go. And there's the comb revealed. All right, I'm gonna look for obvious signs of the queen right now. Nothing yet. As you can see, I already dumped a lot of them in my hive that were on the outside of the box. They're fanning. So now it's uh, time to start cutting these out, this comb. And again, thank goodness, because a lot of times when you do these kind of removals, all this comb gets intertwined and all of that, you know, so it came out clean. Okay, no sign of the queen on there. Now you've got to keep this comb upright, so I've got to cut it to uh, the size. good pollen supplies for them. Get the other one. These bees are being very gentle. I could probably do this removal without a suit on or gloves, but uh, I'm good. Okay. set that down again right here because it's really a, a good a good place. Alright. No sign of queen maybe on there. No sign of her.
Is it possible she's still over there where? It's possible, absolutely. Okay, so I've got uh, a good portion of the comb cut out and uh, have it strapped into frames. And uh, I doubt she's in here. I doubt uh, she's probably still in here. And there's a little bit of comb left in there. But uh, I'm going to remove that comb out of there and look for her. And then I'll have to dump the bees into the top of my hive because, you know. Well, we'll see. I may look for the queen uh, with this thing inverted. All right, let's see if we see the queen in here. see them all running over and flying over to my hive look at that it's like a so they probably smell the queen over there and also all these bees fanning so uh, I'm gonna continue smoking these out and off of this portion and they're gonna head over next door Everything's turning up, turning out just fine right now. And uh, this tube is as clean as I'm going to get it. No bees, no comb to speak of, except for a couple of little trails in there. So I can put this back on pretty soon. Um, I'm going to spray a little bit of a natural repellent on here, which is uh, almond based almond oil and uh, then put this tube back on. And then, uh, this is a perfect scene over here. And I'm about to put the roof on and uh, just wait till sunset and they'll all go in. Okay, as you can see, I got all these bees smoked off of here, except for a couple of stragglers. And now the party has moved over here and they're all buttoning up just perfectly going into sunset here so um, everything's going beautiful and um, I would bet my bottom dollar the Queen's in there even though I haven't seen her and I don't need to go search for her. I'm just saying the Queen is there's 99.9% .9 chance she's in there and that's why they're acting the way they are acting so uh, all right good deal Okay, it's almost sunset, and uh, you can see these ones still flying around. You know, a lot of them trying to land back on their old 
entrance, but uh, to no avail. As sunset gets closer and dusk and all that, it's gonna be no choice but for them to go into my box right here. So all this chaos will die down and they're all coming home with me tonight. Okay, it's almost dusk. Things are settling down even more. We're about to get out of here in the next 15 or 20 minutes. <laughs>